Let me tell you all, once you do it, God will do it. Everything. We're going to get into a message about prayer sooner or later. I think there's some video series. If you were here for the identity one, then I think we have some video series for the prayer ones that we did too. I'm going to close with this story, 9 o'clock, and I know y'all's parents are like, what is this guy doing? He kept y'all in church for 30 minutes longer? Okay, we'll get y'all home. Okay. We, 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 we care about you all, all about your life and stuff. We also care about <laughs> getting you to a safe place. But like I said, all y'all can be my Every single person here, every single watch, every, every single person watching, every single person on the city, y'all can be a witness or y'all can be accountable. Go ahead. Come on. Will you do it? Will you stand? Will you conquer the enemy? Will you actually do what you were called to do? Will you make God happy? Will you make God happy? It's a lot of It's a great thing to make God happy. It's a great thing. I'm going to pray, and if there's anybody who would want to come to any of us even pastor here. Well, yeah. If there's anybody who would want to come to one of the staff members, we will be glad to do anything. We are here for y'all. So is God. Father, we come to you right now, Lord, and we thank you for the time that we had. And we thank you for this message that I was allowed to share. We thank you for another day so that I was able to do this, Lord. And right now, I pray for every single person in this room. And I pray that their lives will be changed and that they will go out into the world and that they will tell people more about you. I pray that they will find you, God, so that they can come and they can say, look what the Lord has done. Lord, I pray for people that are me, that didn't make it tonight. And I also pray, like I said, for Pastor Ron and Miss Phyllis, Lord, I wish they could have been here too. Lord, help us. Help us to go out there and not be afraid. Give us the strength. Give us the wisdom so that we can have the right words to say at the right time. Give us everything that we need so that we can go out and so that we can be a witness to everybody. So that we can go out there, so we can do our job, and we can start a miracle. So that we can start a prayer group, so that you can do whatever you have, that, uh, whatever you want us to do. Lord, I pray for the rest of this week, and I pray for all the activities that we might have planned through our daily lives, Lord. <clears throat> Lord, I'm going to interrupt this prayer, and I'm going to say, is there anyone now that will come and that will do this right now with us, with me. Is there anybody here who will come and make a stand with me to come and make a decision? It's right there, waiting for you. If you want to do that, raise your hand. All over this room. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray for every single person who just raised their hand in this room. I pray that you will give them the strength to go out there and to be the greatest Christian. And I and I pray that we can go out there and that we can be a youth group so that we don't have to act like a Christian anymore. We can actually be a Christian and go out there and do the right thing for you, Lord. I pray that you will give every single one of us in this room the strength, all the way down to 14, 15, 16-year-olds, all the way up to adults. Lord, help us through this week. Help us with the trials that we know after this day that the devil is going to come and he's going to try and tempt us. Help us.
to rebuke the devil, then he will flee, O oh God, because that's what your word says, and then that is exactly, and whatever your word says, God, it is true, and we believe it today in Jesus' name. Amen.